Hi, I'm Shauna Lee and today I have a online thrifting haul type video for you guys. So basically I decided to order stuff from different online like sites that you could possibly use for reselling and I kind of wanted to test it out and see like what is better like value I guess like what what gives you more out of your money and um, I just kind of wanted to see what would be better deals and like for myself and for you guys watching this so let's just get into the video so the first thing that I'm gonna or the first website I guess I'm gonna talk about and show and stuff is fashion maids which they're a website where you can get a mystery box essentially and it's new with tag stuff and you basically fill out this form explaining like what kind of stuff you like to sell um just what what brands you like what season you want and just stuff like that and you can even pick like sizes and all that kind of stuff so if you want to buy it for yourself you can buy it for yourself and just request the size that you are they have different plans that you can do there's a 10 item plan and a 20 item plan and then there's also the option to do like name brand tag only or you can do a combination of boutique and name brand which is cheaper than just name brand so i ended up getting just name brand 10 item and it was about like 110 dollars including shipping so if you decide to do 25 item for name brand it's about like 200 dollars. so it basically doubles what you're paying so the good thing about this box is that you can get good name brand stuff that's also new with tags so there's a possibility of good resale value and stuff and um i previously recorded my haul portion of this video because i got the box and i was super impatient and i was like gotta open it so i'll just put in the clip of me opening it like here so this is my fashion maids box that i got in the mail and let's just dive in okay so this is what it looks like i don't know i think that's in shot but that's what it looks like when you open the box okay i'm gonna attempt to lift this out nicely okay Exciting. Okay, now we have an empty box. Okay, let's dive into the bag. Or, not bag, tissue. Okay, so we have a purple dress, which is really pretty. And this is Lewitt, or Lewitt, whatever. Is that Lewitt? This is really pretty. There's a zipper down the back. I like this. It's a nice, like, solid purple. It's really nice. Cool. Okay. Okay. So, this next thing is Top Shop. It is a striped shirt. And all of this will have tags but yes this is a top shop shirt there is the label um this one retails for $18 I don't think this purple dress had the price on the tag pretty sure it didn't I didn't see it yeah it looks like the price was ripped off but that's okay okay now we have a pair of jeans. This is Paige Denim. These are really cute. They have like some distressing on them and the ends are pretty distressed too. These, I think, re oh, these ones, it looks like these ones retailed for $215, I think. Because there's $69.97 and then above it, it looks like it says $215. It's all like ripped up and stuff. But I'll have to 
look into it. I'm pretty sure they normally retail pretty high, so yeah. Okay, now we have this sweater. This is a Madewell sweater. This is really cute. I like this. It's like an oatmeal knit sweater. And it's a Nordstrom tag. The price on it is $78. Cool. This is Show Me Your Moo Moo. Mew Mew. <laughs> and it looks like a black dress. Yep, black dress. And there's like a cutout in the back. I think that's the back. Or the front. No, I guess it's a cutout on the front. It's an extra small dress. Their price is $198, and it has a really nice texture to it, too. Like, it's an interesting texture, but show me your moo moo. It's really cute. It's another Nordstrom item. I have, like, a really messy pile over here. Okay, what is this guy? This is Chelsea28. I don't know that brand, but that's a really cute top though. I like this blouse and there's like a keyhole in the back. That's really pretty. And I like the lace and stuff. Cool. <laughs> Actually, let me see if there's a tag. I mean, everything should have a tag, but let's, let's search. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a price on it, but that's all right. It's cute. We like cute. Okay, and then this is Waif. It's a waif blouse. The price on it is $55 from Nordstrom. That's really cute. I like the design and the sheer look to it. Ooh, fancy. So this is a Lodi. It's a really pretty cream button up blouse type thing, button down blouse, whatever. I really like that. It's really good quality. The comparable value is $54 from Nordstrom Rack. I like it. It is cute. It's like really like, it's a really like soft, smooth material. Okay. And this is Vanilla Star. It is a denim black mini skirt. And can't tell what the price was for it, but it was created for Macy's. Just a cute skirt. Not too bad. And then this is the last item. It is Melrose and Market. The price on it is $24.97 from Nordstrom Rack. And it's some sort of tie wrap around thing. There's like a stretchy like band type thing and there's also some like ties. This is really cute. I like it. Overall, I think I really like what I got. <laughs> but overall, I'm really happy with the resale value of my haul. Um, the page jeans that I got are like really nice. There's nothing wrong with them. I did notice some of the stuff did have stuff wrong with them. Like that Madewell oatmeal sweater had a hole in the sleeve. Um, there was something else. I believe something else had a hole in it. Or maybe it was a stain. Well, that white button up shirt, I ended up keeping that for myself because there was like a bunch of like dirt or something on it so I ended up washing it and I decided I would just keep it for myself because I need work stuff anyways that's like nice and stuff but um those page jeans were good though so I'm happy because I can make my money back with those jeans specifically so I mean I don't know I feel like it'd be fun to like try it again and see what happens but I don't know if like I'll get as many good things you know um, I noticed that that show me your moo moo dress had some dirt on it, but it didn't have any like anything. It didn't have anything super wrong with it. So 
that one could also make me back my money depending on if people want to buy it with the dirt on it because I think it has to be dry cleaned and it's like it's hard to clean <laughs> but um yeah so I might try it again but that was my exper experience with it so Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to talk about is Goodwill's online auction website, which is shopgoodwill.com, I believe. And I'll just, I'll link down these websites below, that way um, it's like for sure, like down there. But um, yeah, so you basically do auctions, um, they change out their stuff really quickly, it looks like it might be like a weekly basis maybe, I'm not sure, but um, the thing that kind of sucks about it is that the shipping is a little expensive and it I told myself that I wasn't going to get a lot from there and I ended up buying like a bunch of stuff that hasn't even come yet. I do have some stuff though, but yeah, and like the shipping is so expensive. It's like I don't know if it's really worth it, but I did find some cool stuff. The only really good thing about it is that you can find like really cool things that you wouldn't be able to find like near you. I mean, I guess you could, but like, it's, I don't know, it's just easier on there because you can just bid and stuff. And the trick is bidding last minute, that way you don't like go back and forth and end up making it like super high. But um, yeah, just, I don't know. Um, I'll show you guys what I got in like this video though. I got three items and like I said, I have a bunch of other stuff coming. I'll do a whole Goodwill um, haul video basically. Just, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do a haul video for the other stuff. But, um, so these are um, Anthropology Sanctuary Quarter, 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 Wow, I can't talk, you know what I mean, <laughs> that stuff. Um, skinny pant jean things, but yeah, these are Anthropology. The retail price is $119. They're size 25, which I believe is a size zero. Yeah, it's a size zero. But yeah, these are Sanctuary. And they're Social Skinny Standard Rise. And these look good. I didn't really get a look at these. I just kind of opened the package to make sure I got like my stuff. But uh, I think they're all right. Okay, so yes, these are these guys. I can never find anthropology stuff, which is why I grabbed these. So we'll see how they do. I know, I know corduroy is kind of hard to sell sometimes. Um, okay, and then we have this guy. So this is a LuLaRoe tank top, and it's like a patterned tank with, a, with bra lining, and the little pads are still in there and everything. But I grabbed this because, or not, did I really say LuLaRoe? LuLuLemon, wow. I just realized what I said. But yeah, so there's the little uh, LuLuLemon circle thing. And I mean, this looks like really good condition too. Um, but I don't know what size this is. Clearly I don't get LuLuLemon very often, but yeah, I thought this was really cute. I think I paid like six bucks for these. Um, I think I paid like eight bucks for these. But yeah, and I don't know, this is really cute. We'll see what I can get. The, I think the battle is gonna be getting a profit because like I said, like shipping was expensive. So we'll see um, if I can get some sort, of pro some sort of a profit. I'll probably price a bit higher than what they're going for and then see what happens but um yeah so I got those two things okay and then I also I'll put that down. got a thing let's see actually I do know what this is I have obviously haven't opened it So when I saw this, I thought this was so unique. I just hope there's nothing wrong with it. But this is a really like unique skirt. Half of it is pinstriped and half of it is floral. And I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. 
Um, the brand is Save the Queen and it's made in Italy. And yeah, it's just really cool. I don't know, there's a zipper right here along the line. And I don't know. I don't know, what, what do you guys think? I think this is so cool. I love this. I think, okay, so that's what it looks like. It zips down the side right here. And then there's like a little Save the Queen uh, thing right there. But I'll have to look up, I attempted to look up comps on it and they seem pretty decent. Oh, these flowers are actually embroidered too. But I thought this school, or skirt was so cool. And it's a size medium. But I mean, come on, that's like super unique. Okay, so that is it from Goodwill. Um, overall, I mean, I like what I got and I like the stuff that's coming. It's just a matter of whether I'll make any money off of it. I think Goodwill is really good. Like their website is really good if you're shopping for yourself and want some name brand stuff. And um, an issue is that they're not really trained on like finding th like things wrong with it and they don't try as hard to find things that are wrong with it so if you and of course this stuff is really good so I ended up having some really nice stuff but I noticed like when you go through the descriptions and stuff they have a disclaimer saying that they're not experts on like the clothing they don't know what's wrong with it they don't know they don't test stuff they just put it up there so it's kind of like um, you, you just don't know if it's going to be good or not. So, um, I did get lucky though. Um, I have a feeling some of the stuff that's going to come in may or may not have issues with it. We'll see. Um, but I felt confident with those, especially since like, I don't know, I just felt like it was really good. But, um, yeah, so Goodwill, good, but also I, I probably won't do it again in the future, um, after my stuff comes, but yeah and you're once you also like win an auction or a bidding war or whatever you are obligated to pay i think you have to pay within seven days and if you don't then you'll get banned from auctioning so keep that in mind okay so the next portion of this video is going to be stuff from thread up which is an online thrift store which has really good deals and i like them because you can send your stuff to them and they'll like They'll send you like a free like mailing kit with prepaid labels and I actually ordered one but I haven't got mine yet so um yeah and you can like they have options where you pay to have the stuff be sent like back to you and stuff or you could just like let them keep it and do whatever with it but I opted for the free stuff so I'm gonna send out a bunch of stuff and yeah I might do a video about that actually that's a good idea brainstorm I'm doing like so many Poshmark videos. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I need to like uh, branch out and like go back to my old stuff. I want to do like a combination, but geez, I've been doing so much Poshmark. <laughs> oh, but yeah, they're, they're definitely a lot more detailed when it comes to damage on items, which is really nice because you know what you're buying. They'll let you know if it's in really good condition. They'll let you know if it's in bad condition. They also don't accept stuff that's like super crazy bad, like if it has tears all over it or really bad stains or whatever. They won't accept it. And I think if they, they'll either send it back to you if you opted for that, or if you let them take it, then they make little boxes that people can order of like rejected items. Um, if I remember right, that's what they do. But I, th I think that's pretty, really cool. They're really all about like recycling clothing, which I like too, so. Yeah. Oh, and they're also really nice because they put in estimated value. So like, like an anthropology shirt is worth like 75 bucks or whatever. And they'll like put that on there and then they'll have the listing set at like, I don't know, like 20 bucks or whatever. And then they'll tell you how much you're saving versus the retail price. So it's also really cool when calculating like that kind of stuff. Anyways, let's just get into the haul portion of the video. <laughs> so two of these I've already opened because they split up like all, or they split up my order because it was like different locations and stuff that the stuff was being sent from. So this is the first one. And like I said, I opened the first two. 
but they sent this cute little pin that says I wear used clothes. Here, I'll take it out because it might be reflecting. Of course, the pin just says used, but yeah. I wear used clothes. I think that's so adorable. I love that. Okay. Anyways. So this is how it came. It was inside of one of these, except the bigger one. And let's just pop this back. All right. We have a shirt. <laughs> Try not to get my lipstick on it. So this is a Lucky Brand 2X shirt and it's new with tags and ThreadUp has their little tag thing on it too but it's super cute. I don't notice anything wrong with it, which is always good. I don't see any stains, but this is a, I don't know if I said it's a 2X, but yeah, it's super cute. I did get some Lucky Brand stuff because um, that stuff sells, which is my goal. So yeah. <laughs> and then I got, this moth sweater t thing. I can't remember what these are called, but this is moth, which is an anthropology brand. And on the website, it said that it had like, like it looked like it had been worn, like it's been used and stuff, which I can see that it's not like perfect, but there's also like not any, there's like no stains or anything, but it has like the big sleeves and stuff. So I'll see what the comps are. It kind of smells like thrift store. Um, I'll see what the comps are on this. Um, I did look up comps like forever ago when I ordered the stuff, but I can't remember now. But um, yeah, thought it was cute, so I got it. And that is it from the first packet. This is the second one, which I will open. And they sent a cute little book in this one. And this is a Lucky Brand shirt. It is a long sleeve sheer blue blouse. And it's an extra small. Um, I see like a, I guess there's a little bit of wear. It's not too bad though. So, and it has like elastic cuffs, which actually it looks like the elastic might be not as, I think the elastic's a little stretched out now, but overall it's wearable and it's sellable. So I don't think I'd be able to get as much for it because it is like more worn and stuff, but it's still in really good condition. And I also got this extra small Lucky Brand shirt. Like I said, I got a lot of Lucky Brand. But this one's more of an orangey color. There's like elastic stuff at the bottom. And yeah, it's just a t-shirt. There's cute little buttons on the front. They're like little metal ones. But yeah, this one's really cute too. And then I also got this Lucky Brand shirt. <laughs> Lots of Lucky Brand. And it looks like the bottom ties up, which is really cool. There's really pretty like gold embroidery on this. I like this. Um, I don't see anything significantly wrong with it. Cuffs have elastic. So yeah, this one's really nice too. This one's also an extra small if I did not say that. And that is it for package numero dos. Okay. So now we're on to this package. I'll try to not show my address. Okay. Make sure I've got everything out of here. Okay, so we have this little package. Oh, okay, this is anthropology. Oh, this is a anthropology new with tag skirt. And it has like some pleated ruffle type things at the bottom. New with tags. Retail was one hundred and eighteen dollars. 
So that's really nice. It's um, Odile or Odile. Oh, eh, I don't know. Um, I can't remember how to say it, but it's size four. So yeah, it's really cute. It's like a, a slick fabric, which is interesting. I feel like this would be really nice for spring and summer. But I, uh, it might be a midi skirt. I don't know. I can't tell without like it on someone, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> and then we'll open this package. I think from here on, it's just like one package per thing or one item per package. Okay. Next one. Okay, so this is a, another Lucky Brand blouse. This one is blue with some like more like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to describe that pattern, but it's really cute. I love this. And it's extra small. I got a lot of extra small. <laughs> but um, yes, it has little ties. Um, I know some of the stuff I only got for like a dollar. Like it was crazy, which is why I got so much of it. And it has um, elastic cuff things. And yeah, it's really cute too. So extra small people, I'm going to have a lot of Lucky Brand in my shop. <laughs> okay. This one and then one more. Okay, so I got another used pin, probably because I did order two different times, which is probably why I got another one. Um, I'll stick one of these in one of my Poshmark orders. How about that? Um, I don't know how I'll decide that. Maybe I'll, I'll either do a random order, we'll get this, or, um, I'll put it in a post for one of these things, but it'll be something out of specifically thread up stuff. So pretty cool. So that will go in my pile. And that is my stuff. I have a big pile by my feet, but item. Okay, we have a pink thing. Oh, this is Maeve, which is anthropology. Oh, I lost my little thread up thing. Okay. But yes, this is Maeve. It is pink and has like some like dot, um, like embroidered texture type stuff, which is like really interesting. Um, this is really cute. And like, there's like, f like flowy sleeves. It's almost like a tank top. And then it just kind of has this extra fabric. That's what it looks like, but that is super cute. And it is a size zero. So lots of small tops. Oh, last one. So we have this guy. And this is another Lucky Brand shirt. So this one is more of a white with embroidery and flower type stuff going on and it has like some crisscross embroidery up here um this is really cute this is also an extra small it has like a little keyhole type thing going on right here um yeah i don't notice anything wrong with it off the bat which is great i think for the most part everything i bought like claimed that it was either lightly worn or it was practically new or it was new with tags so yeah so I have a lot of extra small stuff that will be going into my shop if any of you people wear extra small overall I think thread up is really good for specifically reselling obviously if you're just shopping for yourself it's really good for that too but reselling definitely good um some of the stuff I paid a dollar two dollars for some of it I paid like seven dollars but for the most part, a lot of like that Lucky Brand stuff was like two bucks, which is why I was like, <laughs> but they do have sale type things where they'll like just make a lot of stuff really cheap like that. So it's definitely something to keep an eye out for if you resell or if you just want to buy stuff.
so this next section or this next uh, seller or whatever is 6pm.com um, this website I'm pretty sure um, companies will sell like or send their clothes to uh, like new tag stuff that's like off season like they're done selling it this website kind of accumulates that stuff and I don't know specifically like how it works um, I just know that you can get stuff really cheap there that are like clothes I mean they have like Levi's they have um, like Betsy Johnson they have Sam Edelman it like depends on the stuff and they don't carry like everything I think it depends but um, yeah some of the stuff is really really good like price wise um, and some stuff is isn't discounted very much it just like I said it depends on the season and what's in and what's not and stuff but um, I only got three things from here but um, I think it's good um, so the first thing is this Karina shoulder Sam Edelman fringe hobo new bag thing um, this I can't remember what the retail is on this but I paid 30 bucks for this and the only reason I paid 30 bucks was be was because it was like a good uh, like the resale was really good on this but this is so cute I love this like I love the fringes and the beading and like I don't know it's just gorgeous and like I don't want to completely undo everything but I don't it's it's so pretty I love this um it is 100% genuine leather so it's real leather <laughs> but yeah if you're interested in this it will go up in my shop sometime shortly um I don't know it's really nice I'm glad I got it though because like yeah it was 30 bucks but like I said this is in right now and it's a good brand so I think it was worth it um we'll just see what happens oh and this originated from Nordstrom so maybe it's maybe 6 p.m. is where Nordstrom sends their things I don't know but so this next thing is a Romeo and Juliet couture dress which um, retails for $155 and I bought this for like nine bucks it was like heavily discounted but it's new tags it's a velvet dress so obviously not this season but here's the tag and it is a size medium so there's that I don't know if it's there popping up but um it's like a choker v-neck type thing and it's like I said it's velvet so it's very like warm something you'd want to wear like once it starts getting colder in the fall and winter and stuff but it's new tags so yeah and I only paid nine bucks so the last thing that I got is kind of big and we'll see how easily I can ship it um honestly I might just use this box that it was sent in because this is the box and it fits really well in here so yeah we'll see but this is a Betsy Johnson panda backpack with a little leaf zipper type thing and it's new with tags and the retail was $98 and the comps were really good for Betsy Johnson backpacks and I think I paid approximately $10 it was really close to the Romeo and Juliet couture um, dress but yeah, it's Betsy Johnson, it's a really cute backpack. Um, when it comes to like school, like season and stuff, this would be really cute. Cute or like even traveling. I mean, who doesn't need a backpack? <laughs> but um, yeah, and there's like pockets on the sides. I'm trying to avoid taking it out, out of this bag for the moment because it's white and I want to avoid stuff getting on it because like I said, it's white. But it is super cute.
So overall from 6pm.com, I feel like I really like it. It, I mean, it depends on what you're shopping for. Um, sometimes stuff can be really expensive if like it's something that's an expensive brand or if it's like trending or whatever, but um, it's a good website to check out and see if you can find anything that's new with tags that you can resell. Um, we'll see what my results are once I get all this stuff posted and I want to see like what kind of traffic it get I it gets and stuff. Um, but I'm excited. I like getting new stuff to try to resell and see what brands work and what don't. So yeah, um, overall I think 6pm is a good website to check out. Really all of these websites are, it's just a matter of like whether you keep wanting to use them. But um, yeah, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed unboxing and looking at these things. I'm going to enjoy photographing and measuring and posting these things. Um, we'll see how long it takes me to post them because I have a lot of other stuff that I need to post also. So I'll try to mix it in that way it's not like sitting somewhere for like ever. But um, yeah, uh, like and comment on this video if you like have ever used these websites for reselling and what you think of them. Uh, let me know if there's any other websites that I don't know about that I didn't mention in this video because I think these are the only things that I really know of off the top of my head. But um, yeah, and subscribe if you want to see more haul videos, food videos, story time videos, <laughs> thrifting videos, more videos like that, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!